So you don't want to watch this 18 minute long replay of the state channel? Don't worry, I got you covered with all the juicy sneak peeks, starting with the biggest news of them all. We will do something for the uh, Acha in next balance chance, but most of others balance chance will for others mini. Finally, Ultra is getting a nerf, thank god. She has been dominating in the meta for way too long. She just gets so much value, too much value for a 2 elixir mini. And like a 2 elixir mini should not be the carry of a deck, that is just crazy. So yeah, thank god. So how do you think the archer will be nerfed in the balance changes? My guess would be that her third star hit speed buff will be reduced. Or maybe it is just a nerf in attack speed in general. So what do you think? But don't worry, Archer will be getting one more nerf. Well, kinda a nerf, I guess. Maybe in the update file, you can uh, you can find some uh, mini can have such kind of mechanisms that can attack the bottom line directly. So this skill, this mechanism is no more unique uh, in our metas, right? Uh, in the future's meta. So after update 5, Archer will not be the only one who can directly target the furthest troop. Which is great because currently, nobody can do that consistently. Oh, which means after update 5, there's going to be more diversity in the meta. Because you don't need to just rely on the Archer for backline damage. So this is probably going to be some mini star abilities to replace some useless abilities. For example, one of the worst skeletons can maybe spawn next to the furthest enemy and maybe that can replace her second star, which is quite useless. Moving on. Currently, the heroes all do one thing very, very well. Monk yeah. one shots very well. He doesn't do anything else, right? But what if mm -hmm. hero does two things? If each mm -hmm. hero can do two things, maybe my first thing is countered by Monk, but my second thing can actually counter Monk. And then we are mm -hmm. on a, a fair game again. So those are some of the uh, directions we are currently thinking to make the game more fun. So in the next update, heroes can have more than one core ability and you can basically switch them midway through the battle to counter the enemy. So these are sort of like star powers in Brawl Stars but they can be changed midway in the match. So I actually found this really cool concept art surrounding that. It is made by Ice King on Reddit. And as you can see here, you can equip a Archer Queen ability that makes her and her nearby allies invisible. So this would be a great counter to Archer and the other minis that can attack the back line. So I cannot wait to see how this can be implemented in Clash Mini. We will make some change in next uh, balance chain and also a big uh, rewards for the Shield Maiden in Update 5. So for the October balance changes, maybe this will be a buff on the level 8 ability because now that ability is basically the most useless hero ability. And maybe there is going to be a HP buff for lower level shield maidens too because in low level, shield maiden is just so squishy for a meat shield. But, and if you want to know the balance changes ASAP, I'll make a video about it with my early access info a day before the changes. But only if this video hits 80 likes. So if you want to get the balance changes one day early, be sure to hit like on this video. And the Shield Maiden is also going to get big reworks in the next update. Most likely this is going to be an entire redesign. So his core abilities are going to be changed entirely. And if you want to know more about the hero redesigns, I made a video on that and I'll show it to you at the end of this video, so just hold on. Since progression is getting such a big change, I know a lot of you are concerned about your current progression being reset and all your resources going to waste. Well, this is fans' response. The way we are going to do is to uh, refund players uh, to a point where their progression is equal as what they previously have. So let's say previously your hero is at this level. When we change something, we'll make sure that your power is at the same level. So don't worry, you will not lose your progression. If you are maxed, you will stay maxed after update 5. Hopefully this will give you a bit of a peace of mind. Guys, don't have to worry about upgrading your heroes right now. So what do you think is the most exciting info out of this stage channel? And as promised, here is a video about some hero redesigns that will change how heroes work entirely. It is really worth a watch.